Roll ho, Trudeau must go. Trudeau must go. Yes. Pro immigration, anti migration. Yes. <laughs> I am. Uh, there's something else I felt really strong about that I wanted to speak today. today. And that uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, labeling and people saying that people at Sanity Olympics are racist or homophobic or homophobia and stuff. And Oh, yes. From the yeah, part yeah. of that system. Yeah, don't tell my wife, baby. Go decide for yourself what matters to you. No, what is it? It is the voter in Canada. Yeah. 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 The voter in Canada. Yeah. The voter in Canada. Yeah. 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 So, welcome to Brian Rue Show. It's December 22nd, 2018. We're at Robson Square. This is a demonstration in favor of the yellow vests in France. We're wearing our yellow vest. As soon as I got here, I noticed a Jewish fellow speak to the megaphone. He, he, he was doing the megaphone. Whereas my friend Chase organized this as a Facebook group, so I thought, oh, the Jews taking control of this already. But we were passing the megaphone around, and I had my mom on the megaphone as well. So we kind of mix the people of different motivations here. But we met a few other Jewized people as well, so it's nice to connect with people. So it's a interesting mix of people. It's nice to get out in public and actually meet people in the, in the flesh and meet them now, rather than just uh, talking online. If you open your own eyes and go look for yourself, I'm not going to promise you that you're going to find all different sides of the coin. But I can promise you that if you do look, you will find truth for yourself. And that's what matters. Defend your freedom. It's yours. If you do not look, if you stand by and not pay attention, you will lose it. This motivation is as plain as the nose on your face, folks, and it was broadcast before many countries. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Well. Merry Christmas, one and all! Please look at it. Please. <laughs>
disparity in wealth and siphoning wealth from everyone through their compounded interest central banking scheme. And there's not much else to it. That's just, never mind pipeline, never mind no pipeline, migrant, no migrant, tax, no tax. Taxes are all unfair. Anything the government does from now on, from 200 years ago onwards, is for the international banking cabal. Or making us complacent with it. Hey Santa, wanna make a statement? Uh Trudeau's gotta go. 2019. Full show, folks, for sure. The number one request on all of Santa's uh, all the, the wish list that all the good little boys and girls all across Canada have been sending in to Santa. Number one most requested toy prize gift for the holiday season this year has been I want Trudeau gone in 2019, Santa. Please help my family with the carbon taxes. Daddy's losing his job again. It's horrible what's going on in Canada under the Trudeau government. And Santa is a, a, a member of the Canadian voting public because Santa lives in the North Pole. And we got to take it to the streets, folks. That's why Santa's down here in Vancouver supporting the Yellow Vest Rally. Very good. And Santa, I saw you in April. We're at the hijab hoax. Uh, demonstration in that video. So it's nice to see you again, Santa. I guess there's off season he sees it for you then. Oh yeah. So nice, nice to have you back. Santa's always again. busy. He's got to have lots of malls appearances and appearances with sick kids. So, yeah. <laughs> but the yellow vest protesting is very important to Santa and the elves. Yeah, great to have you back, Santa. I'll see you again at other demonstrations, man. Hey, good <laughs> work, uh, Yeah, keep up the good work. Sure. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. I'm just making a video on what yeah. people, how people feel about the yellow vests. You want to make a statement? You want to take turns? I'm here for the French people. Are you from France or Quebec? Quebec. Quebec? Yes. Yeah, but uh, it's terrible what they're doing to those people. And uh, they're standing up for the freedom. Yeah. And they're being... Uh, beaten and, and and it's it's just, it's terrible and there's nowhere on the news that you can see all of this because they're like blocking it so people go and see try to see what they're doing in europe it's terrible and uh, seeing, the, seeing the canadian news is not covering it you're saying at all it's oh so you got to go online you yes, like youtube you yeah yeah well, this is a youtube video so yeah you can say what you want we'll get out to the public so vive la france <laughs> yeah, so a lot of a lot of poor people in France that are just fed up with the system. Yeah, like and Macron that. is like a Rothschild banker. They're, like he was, he was a Rothschild banker, so it shows where his globalist interests are. It's everywhere. Like like we're getting poorer and the richer are getting richer. And if we don't do anything, it's just gonna silently happen, right? Yeah, that's it. We're gonna they're gonna take over. We we're gonna wake up one day and it's. it's it's gonna be done, and our chance to do something about it will be will just be gone. Yeah. So you admire that French spirit standing up to the government, the, the French revolutionary spirit. Yeah, it's great, eh? Very good. Thank you. Okay. And my dad, my mom's like, if you get arrested, I'm not bailing you out. Okay. Anyone else? How, what do you to support? The, what do you like to say for, for in support of the yellow vest? I'm not sure what to say right now. I'm supporting the yellow vest because Trudeau has. Dreams and ambitions beyond common sense. Yeah, like he wants to bring millions of immigrants here, like from Africa and Asia. And, and I have no problem with with uh, what's the word? Legal. Legal immigrants. I, I, I think there should be a filter in the system because there's a lot of undesirable people being brought into Canada uh, that are not in need. There, you know. I have nothing against people that are having problems in their home country and yeah. it's safer for them to leave and come to a safe country like Canada. But there's a whole lot of people being brought in that are being slipped in to form an army. Yeah. 
to fight this battle that he's cooking. To fight against Canadians like these. Yes. How about this UN this UN migration compact? Make it a human right for anyone to come wherever they want. And we have to accommodate them, we have to pay for them, making um, it a human right. It's I just outrageous. Again, um, I don't think that's right. It's got to be filtered. It has to be a process to follow. Yeah, you know, like I say, they're bringing in so many young males of, of, of a, an extremist level. He's, he's forming a, a, an army within the country to, to fight the country. Yeah. He's uh, been disillusioning and disarming the Canadian forces. And that, that's just wrong. I mean, yeah, like the Proud Boys can't stand up for Canadian values, so they're shut right down, they can't say anything. So who do you think is behind Trudeau? Because obviously... Well, all the news reports say George Soros, but yeah. I think there's a multitude of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just a multitude of them. And, and he's just a... He's, I don't think he's intelligent enough to put all this together. Somebody is piecing all this together and he's just a yes man. They put him in power and he's still being a yes man. So who do you think put Trudeau into power? Who do you think's behind him? <laughs> hey, we're going to get this mirroring, video mirroring effect here. I think I think it's um, the Zionists. Uh, oh. I think they have a big agenda, and their agenda isn't just uh, focused on Israel. It's a global agenda. So they are causing a lot of disruption worldwide. Yeah. yeah. So I guess like with Trudeau, it's probably George Soros. Like George Soros, probably know about him, right? He seems to be a big financier or supporter of Trudeau. Yeah. 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 Philanthropist, I believe, is how he was labeled in the news. Yeah, they call him that, yeah. yeah. The, the Open Society Institute. Doing anything, basically anything to undermine conservatism, <laughs> traditional Canadian values, or no, what you're being, are being knocked away. Our freedom of expression, freedom of speech is being taken away little bit by little bit. Yeah. And it's crazy. The so country is being cut apart. So, do you think political correctness is kind of uh, something limiting our freedom of speech? Is something that encroaches the 1990s political correctness? You can't hurt people's feelings. So, you can't say this, you can't say this. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's just a sideline. That's just to keep people's attention away from what's really going on. That's, a, yep. that's all just a bunch of crap. But keep you not thinking about what's going on with the UN and what's going on with the, the, the federal government. And, 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 it's, it's corrupt. Yeah, like globalism, like with UN. It's yeah, undermining our sovereignty and uh, taking our jobs, undermining the, 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 the citizen, the individual. Yeah. 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 So the yellow vest seems to be something hopeful. So maybe at least it's a sign. I'm hoping. That's why we're here. Yeah, let's get your story. Why do you support the yellow vest? You know it's got to go. I agree with that. That's it. Got to go. Do you think the uh, Max A. Bernay running is, is sort of a an intent to split the conservatives to get Trudeau back in. You think it's some kind of a ploy to, at the I, higher levels I, I to get Trudeau one back man's in? Ambitions that are are going to work against the right wing. Yeah. So it might help Trudeau get reelected to split exactly. the conservative yeah, vote. I'm a little worried about that. I don't disagree with the man, but I don't think he should be doing it. Yeah. Because it's going to open the doors for the liberals. Yeah, I'm just I'm just wondering if it was an agenda from the top they planned. Okay, let's plan to split the Conservatives to get Trudeau in for another term. I mean, we don't know we're on the outside of the halls of power. I don't know if it's a plan or not, but yeah. I, I just know it's a situation. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you. Anything else? No, very good. good. We just don't want a stronger, more representative Canada, that's all. We want our politics, our politicians to respect us and listen to what our points of view are. And yeah. I hope I hope that we can make our point made and in a peaceful way. And that's what we're hoping for. And Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. Peace.
Chase, you helped organize our Yellow Vest meeting today. I did, and Very it's a great good. turnout. And I think I saw you at the, the rally summer and a, a half ago. Anti-racism rally, yes. That's, yeah, that's right when, when I did my salute, you filmed my salute? God. I know, I didn't actually film that. I just saw that on YouTube after. I didn't know that yet. Oh, okay. Did. Yeah, it's an interesting time. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm happy to be here supporting the Yellow Vest. How do you feel about the Yellow Vest? I think it's great. I mean, it's growing quite a bit, and it's really good to actually be in a city like Vancouver. We're pretty heavily uh, liberal supported out here. Um, so to actually show that there's a presence of Canadians that are against Trudeau, uh, carbon tax, the UN Global Migration Pact, and things like that, even out in the West Coast, which is pretty liberal, if not socialist, communist almost, um, I think I think it's good. It's, it's uniting a lot of Canadians, and a lot of us have a similar kind of viewpoint even um, I mean and I kind of look at the how the French are doing right now you've got the communists and the nationalists literally fighting side by side against a corrupt government yeah. I think that's what we need to do here um, I know Antifa is heavily against us for some reason yeah I don't know why either yeah, Antifa is um, against the yellow vest they are yeah which is strange because that's I thought a good that sign we must be doing something right then usually that's the case yeah, um, yeah. but I think that we should unite um, I mean I don't like Antifa just because of how they act but if they can actually fight side by side and say, yeah, listen, Trudeau, we don't like you. We don't like what you're doing to the country, how you're basically throwing the country away, throwing our values away, what made Canada such a great country, and basically signing away our sovereignty to a foreign organization, the United Nations, um, who, by the way, wants to be the world government by 2030. I mean, I'm basically at a loss for words for that. Trudeau wants a world government? The, U the United Nations oh. wants to be the world government by 2030. 2030, yeah. wow. Which I, I don't think so. I mean, I think we should, I think we should focus on our own individual countries and yeah. help grow our countries and the people in them. I mean, as it is, the reason I'm, I'm against the entire UN Global Migration Pact is because we have an indigenous population where half of them on reserves are on a boil water advisory. Yeah. We have 1,500 homeless people dying every year on the streets of BC alone. 1,500? Yeah. Wow. Like, I'm for immigration. If it wasn't for legal immigration, I wouldn't be here right now as my grandparents immigrated here. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure like we can take in some refugees, help out some people who are in need, but at the same time, we need to put a limit on that, and we need to make sure that that we can actually help all these people, as well as our own people, like the yeah. indigenous population of Canada, to, to start. Yeah. And that's basically why I'm out here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this this is the Agenda 2030, you mean, mm -hmm. to take over the to yeah. World Government 2030? Pretty much, yeah. So who's behind all of this? The United Nations. Ah, so who's behind the United Nations? Globalists. The globalists, yeah, like the Rothschilds. Rothschilds. There you go, yeah. I would say it's the international Jews as well. But that's, I, that's I, why I, I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm against globalism. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can just blend everybody together and have it go peacefully. I yeah. would love for that to happen. I would love to be able to take in as many people as we could, but I don't know how realistic that is. And so as simple as that. So you think there's uh, nothing more diverse than trash? <laughs> than trash? Than trash. That's diversity. Um, diversity can work. It depends. There can be extreme diversity where people with conflicting views can't get along. That's not great. But there can also be diversity where we have different cultures that have relatively similar values that can actually respect each other and can get along pretty well. So it depends on the whole situation. It's a situational kind of thing. Yeah, but I guess the intent behind diversity and multicultural is to undermine Canadian culture, undermine European culture. I think forced diversity can be somewhat detrimental, depending on how it is forced in. Yeah. Depending on for this, but diversity works if everything's kept separate, right? It's multiculturalism that's a killer. So if we want things to be diverse, you have to keep them separate. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like having a color palette, right? Every single color is unique and diverse, but as soon as you start mixing them, you just end up with one mess. That's a good point. And you lose all the diversity that was there. And that's what they're trying to do. It's a melting pot thing. It kills yeah. diversity. But I, I think at so the same time, pro diversity here. We want each thing to be itself independent. We don't want it all messed up. Good analogy with the paints. Yeah. Sure, yeah. But at the same time, like I want to be able to go into um, any other kind of cultural community and be able to just get along with people. Like I don't want everybody to be segregated into different clumps, into different demographics. I would like if we could actually all get along. Yeah. And 
segregating everybody. I mean, it's not segregated or having a problem with getting along. Number one, people do it naturally anyway. So mm. birds right, have a yeah. flock together. So it's not forced yeah. segregation. People are just going to do it anyways. Mm -hmm. And getting along is just being nice to each other. Yeah, I think people feel alienated. They're just with a lot of different people that they don't understand. They don't. They're not with their own people. So it can be a kind of isolating, a lonely experience. So, mm -hmm. Stick around if you want to hear some. Yeah, well. Wonderland. Okay, well, thank you, Chase. Appreciate yeah, your thoughts. You. Yeah, okay. <laughs> a lot of music going on here at the same time. <laughs> Carol is out there. But it's against, December 22nd, uh, no, 2018. And, yeah. I think just Christmas Cole spirit. And stopping climate change, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. Right, cool. Help okay. the environment. Yeah, let's get these right, people in here. Are you listening? Workers shout, asphalt stiffening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a concrete wonderland. So how, why are you here to support the LFS? I guess you support the LFS, right? Yeah, I, yes, I do. Well, let's see your sign. Imminentize the eschaton. This is kind of uh, nebulous. It basically means uh, bring about the end of the world. Uh, it's, it's from a, a fiction book, anyway. Um, what, what does it mean, bring about the end of the world? Yeah, to make imminent the eschaton. Uh, I don't know. I, well, I mean, it could mean a lot of things. It's just kind of a fun sign, but... Uh, it sounds kind of biblical, like the rapture. <laughs> yeah, it almost is biblical. I think it's what the... the or in, in the fiction book, it's what the satanic cabal that controlled the world... Uh, yeah. It was their goal, it was like their motto. Was maybe we should move away from the sound a bit. Yeah, maybe over here. But yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm here because uh, the international banking cabal are, is subverting sovereignty all across the world. Uh, across Western nations, we see this yellow vest thing. We're basically protesting the same thing. And any decision the government makes can't really be attributed to the people, but only to the banking cabal to which they're beholden. So until we sort that out, any pipeline or no pipeline or migrant or no migrant decision doesn't doesn't mean anything. It's not our decision. It's the it's the banking cabal that's leading the world by a hook in the nose. Yeah, I agree with what you said about the pipeline. Like here in the city, they're they get the pipeline. The federal government's before, so it's all kind of political show, right? Going back and forth. Something that's not nearly as important as our the whole planet. Like these. You know, National bankers want to take over the entire world and enslave they all have, of humanity. They have control over the entire world. They have control. And now we're seeing their institutions really put the pressure that they can on people. And this is only just beginning. This is this is this nothing compared to what's possible. And the more time we let them go on and, and grow their power, the more we're going to see problems. The more there's going to be migrants from illegal wars. The more there's going to be poverty from unsound monetary policy. The more there's going to be in, in, like manufactured economic classes like it just goes on and on and until we address the root cause which is them subverting our national governments and siphoning wealth from their compound interest schemes then then there's there's no there's no way we stand a chance at actually solving any yeah. problems that regular people face. I guess you study this UN migrant compact they're trying to make it a human right for migrants anywhere in Africa to come to Western countries and we have to accommodate they just pay for them make it easy for them you know it's all part of the globalist basically they seem to be trying to undermine you know, white European Christian countries. Yeah, well, it, it weakens their power as a collective group to come together and say, look, this isn't what we want. It, it weakens their voice if, they, if they're worried not only about the foreigner next door, but about the, their neighbor national who might be worried or not worried about the foreigner. It pits everyone against everyone, not only national against national, against foreigner, but national against national as well. Yeah. And foreigner against foreigner too. It's, yeah. uh, no, uh, if we really want to help people in these far-flung countries, stop the wars and offer them help there where they live, where it is cheaper and more effective than having them cross seas and drown or, or, or cross deserts and dehydrate yeah so who's at the top like uh, you mentioned the 
And the bankers like the Rothschilds. Who's at the top of this well, I didn't power say tree? The Rothschilds, but yeah, there's some there. There's like I don't know, I don't know their names. Their names are probably in from us. We only see the face of their organization, where they deal with the regular people. We see the Trudeaus, the, the playful yeah. puppets that play dress up. You know, we don't see who's really in charge. And frankly, it doesn't matter because we see the mechanisms that are exist to give them power to siphon our wealth to them. Those are exposed plainly for all to see. And it's like Bank of Canada Act, and you know the actual Constitution is. Everything we need to get rid of them is in the, like those few documents that already exist. So, well, who they are, their identity, it's not that important to us. We know. I think we there's, there's actually evidence for for the identity. It's actually oh really? Yeah, the actual identity. It's uh, it's international. Jewish power, like the Rothschilds are Jewish, they're connected well, I'd with... Well, it's Jewish, but I mean, I read the, the Bible or whatever, Revelation say they're not Jews, they're the synagogue of Satan, and they're Luciferian elites, and blah, 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 they got their own cultish thing, it doesn't matter if it exists or not, I don't care, like, it matters that they believe it and they act on it, but to me, it doesn't matter if the fucking Satan and the Lucifer and whatever the hell, because, I mean, I, I can barely wrap my head around... Fucking yeah, fucking well, technically, I would say it's uh, the Rothschild Zionist Talmudist, so the, most Jewish people don't know too much about this, but it's not the Jewish people, like, there's... Like 15 million Jewish people, but at the, the, it's the, the elite Jews at the top. The like a cabal. Satan, but it seems there. Jews is going to ruffle some feathers. I don't know. One percent up to one percent, I think. Yeah, it's, it's the elite. So, but they, it is it is in a sense uh, the Talmud, the Talmudic agenda. They have a deep hatred for the white race. That's why they're bringing immigration into white countries. It's not just billionaires trying to take well, over I mean, the world. Even if it's hatred, like they, I can understand the usefulness for their purpose, like to like you know stifle the voice of the you know European continent or whatever. The people who have like brought the, the civilization to bear to no longer monolith. The cultures of the past. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, that Barbara's not. Barbara Leonard Specter, yeah, her famous, I, I famous speech. Her, right, she yeah. said, Europe is going through the th throes of big changes. She said, Jews are very much at the center of this and they'll be resented for this. So she admits it. No, I don't want to hide what they're, they're Yeah. Do you know about the International Jewish Agenda? Oh, yeah. yeah it's well, all in the open. They tell you exactly what they're what they're doing. You just gotta well, look for it. You just have to read, but people are too lazy to even read, right? No, it's it's just damn good thing because it's all there. All the information is there. We have the internet. It's amazing, but people are not taking advantage of it. It's sad. It really is. Well, that's a theme of my YouTube talk show. Talk about international Jewish power. So it's great to say it literally. So your truth is, you know the truth. It's good. We're we're a small small group of people actually know it's. It actually is Talmudic and Jewish Hebrew, at the top. The truth has a, has a way of finding the light, and uh, I, I have to hope, I have to stay optimistic and hope that, that enough people will see it. And, and I know it only takes a small chunk of people. I, I've read it only takes three people to start a start uh, what in the past have been meaningful revolutions. So yeah, like, I think three percent in the American Revolution. Yeah, yeah. The, I guess so that's a big hope. People are waking all, up, like in the in we the don't need all the sheep to be with us. It's really, we need some of them, but it's, it doesn't take that many to bring the, the, the corruption to its knees and, and, and get on a better path, I think. Yeah, so maybe the, the yellow vests, it's encouraging. Maybe I think some of the yellow vests are even saying, hey, the globalists are behind this. Some are even saying, you know, the Jew, Jewish bankers are behind this. So to talk that up is good. It's something we should really support at this time. Yeah, it, it, it's a difficult issue to navigate, though, because it's especially like it's such an abstract issue and, 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 and it has so many tentacles so many really complex facets of it that it's so difficult for people to understand so when they hear someone bringing uh, to attention a certain issue they, they it's easy to write them off as just crazy and negative because they don't want it's it's really it's tough information to digest so to speak you know what i mean yeah and they they conceal it right they conceal it many ways they, and, and it's not a a, a positive uh, wormhole to travel down when you start reading this stuff it's very uh it, it's, it's disillusioning yes yeah, it, discouraging the soul is very discouraging you're, you're left with a feeling there's not much you can do yeah it's, it's, it might be too late, and it's very sad. But so you've been through the same process. It took yeah. me I, around 2012. I became Jew wise. It took, since around 2005, I was gradually learning. But it's a slow process yeah, for most it, people, it's right? Slowly coming to light. I, I hope. I have to stay optimistic. Otherwise, you know. Yeah. So you're still in the process. Yeah. We slowly come to realize this. For stuff. me, it was like in 2008. Uh, I, I read an article. It was like uh, riots in Sweden. I said, well, that doesn't sound like a very Swedish thing to do. So I clicked on it. And there wasn't a Swedish person to be seen. It was all like uh, Muslims. Oh. Like in their like traditional dress with the rioting for the, you yeah. know, a little bit of the live stream. And from then I like took research into like why is this, why are there Muslims in Sweden? I was like, I don't know, 14 at the time. So. Yeah. It was the international Jews that brought the Muslims to Sweden. Yeah. They're behind. Yeah. The Jews are bringing the Muslims into 
into the West. Yeah, to undermine the white race. Yeah, in order to take over the world, the white race is their, their biggest obstacle. They want to take down everybody, of course, but uh, so they, they go after us first. The whites have to go because they're more aware than anyone else about this, what is going on. And so, yeah, and people, a big thing people have to like get, get their minds over is that it's not it's not all Jews. It's not like anyone saying that everyone, all the Jews are bad people. Yeah. We're talking about, a, 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 I don't know how many, I have no idea, but we're talking about a sliver, a sliver of, of, of if you want to call it a Jew, or what are they, like a religion or a, a ethnicity or whatever. It's, it's, it's such a small portion of them that are that are taking part in this in this subversion yeah. of, our, of our of our western civilization and so yeah people people get really turned off when 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 you sort of explore these topics because they instantly think that you have a, an issue a hatred for a race or yeah anti-semitic nothing to do with that I, yeah. I i i love all people that have that share our 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 love of life and our the, our way of life and 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 the, the yeah our values and carrying on our traditions because we built something that's amazing and it's we're saving and so do you think the elite Jews kind of condition or brainwash the ordinary Jews so they don't tell them what they're doing well, yeah and in a, in a way it, they've, 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 they've framed it in a way where you don't you almost don't have a choice you're a useful idiot one way or the other because they give it's I guess the word for it is a Hegelian dialectic and where it, it's the, the outcome is, is essentially framed for you so you take both paths you choose are, are, are already uh, what is it like? They're, they're already designed to have you come to the same conclusion. It's yeah. formulated for you, right? So people, it's hard for people to break out of it and see it from a different perspective. Right? It's, yeah. I don't blame people for being confused as hell. It's a, it's a very it's a lot of reading, and it's, it's yeah it's yeah a lot of lies, a lot of, lot of deception. Lot, a lot it starts of in the schools too. Oh yeah, they control the control the curriculum. In our, our I'm terrified to have a kid because yeah, I'm thinking homeschooling. It's going to be probably the best option by the time that happens. Now, you know about the sexual orientation, gender identification, the ed teaching kids in school, teaching them to be transgender if they want. I know. And that's that's a Jewish agenda as well. They're behind that. Frankfurt School, right? Frankfurt School, yeah. That was a dark, 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 dark. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's great to know you're Jewish. I know in the protocols of Zion, they say what what they do. They keep a secret from the Jewish people themselves. That's how they work. Yeah, and and the, to those those ones that were the, 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 the top ones, they they even see the, their own uh, people as lower. They're they're willing to sacrifice them too. Yeah. Totally Cannon fought of their own people. Yeah, it's 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 alarming, it's scary, and I, I don't. Um, I, it's a good start that we're all getting together, at least talking about it. But it's hard to it's it's hard to formulate a plan really when you don't. It's, it's where do you start with this? I know. <laughs> on my show, I interview people on uh, Google Hangouts all over the world and say, well, what, what solution do you have? What ideas do you have? No one really has a real plan, a good plan. It's, it's we're, we're I think we're on the right track because just talking about it is what's putting all our minds together and yeah, raising like, awareness. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. it's the only yeah. place to start and and through that, you know, we'll find a way. I think. Yeah, I've been doing this about four and a half years. I'm sure raising awareness. What what else can I do? Raising awareness. Well, yeah, and, and while the time while we're still talking, let's do that because there's going to come a time where it's not talking. Yeah, lose our freedom. And so you, you, you take away our right to, to even uh, even have that dialogue and the only option we have left is violence. So that I, I don't hate to say it and I'm not advocating for it, but it will get there. And, and yeah. it's, it's, it's as sure as... It's, it's yeah. happening already. No. It's as sure as the, you know, the sky is blue that, that we will get there if they continue on the route they're going. And it's, 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 it's wrong, it's totalitarian, it's authoritarian. It's, we should be fighting against it at every step, but everyone's too comfortable and, and they don't realize how, how delicate the freedom that we have actually is. It's, it's not held together by some magical fabric in the sky. It's not, it's not God. It's not, you know, we, our ancestors built this. It was, it, you know, it was a very difficult task and yeah. we're, we don't have an, a, a, enough of an appreciation for, for the sacrifices they made to have it as easy as we do today. That's right. People just turn on the light switch and they think that, uh, that, that just, they don't even, there's no thought that goes into it that, that the forces of entropy are acting on us at every given moment and there's people out there working their asses off to keep your lights on, to keep your water going, to keep your... Yeah. It's, it's, and, and that can all go. That can, yeah. We, can, we will very quickly find ourselves 
in in you know a level of depravity that we a lot of us can't even imagine. We've never even thought about. But yeah, yeah, you got to wake up, and that's I, I, it makes me feel a little bit too afraid to admit that they know the truth. So they don't want to be labeled all the things that everyone gets labeled today. Well, it's, and it's but it's the or they don't lose their job. Yeah. You have to not care about those labels, and you just yeah. have to. If you care enough, then you'll stand up for what you believe in, and you'll get out there and you'll start speaking. Yeah, I don't regret it. I got fired. I was teaching at Capilano University because my vid videos, they fired me in 2015, but wow. life has been good. I mean, uh, it's I focus full time on the show rather than part time. It's like it was good, uh, meant to happen. Yeah, yeah. One door closes, okay. another door opens. I get donations for the Brian Roo show and I keep at it. So. That's awesome. There's yeah. there are huge supporters of independent media on YouTube and a lot of our sources are usually coming from the states, but that's, you know, they've all been forced into YouTube world because they get fired from all their jobs and, you know, major comedians and there's yeah. huge movements online. So I think you made the, I think it'll probably work out more in your in your favor. Yeah. How, how, what kind of life is that? You're essentially a slave if, you, if you're if you not even free in your place of employment to, to have your own thoughts. Like, it's really yeah. sick that these people are willing to not only harm you and your your livelihood to feed yourself, but your children. I don't know if you have children, but, no. but uh, like most people that they do this to, they don't even. It's not even a thought in their mind that oh, me me reporting this person for having a different uh, yeah uh, opinion. And it was than me it was gonna, it's gonna take food off his child's table. How sick is that? Yeah, How I don't care. To, be to, to go to that level. And it was Benai Breath that called them, and they. They didn't admit it. They'd sort of do it indirectly. Um, and I wasn't talking about this in my class. I was teaching a Buddhist mindfulness meditation course. I wasn't talking about this stuff in my class. Wow. This is just out, out of class. So, But that's how they work. You have to be prepared to fake that. So that's what scares a lot of people. But you're right. We have some people have to make a stand. And, and we need more people showing their face and their identity and yeah. stand up. So I appreciate you you know, saying this. But we now I have a group we meet every other Thursday right here in Vancouver and Kitsilano, a group of like-minded people. So you, I've got to give you my card. You're Absolutely. welcome to join yeah, us. So. Yeah. yeah. So I appreciate the talk. Yeah. Any, any other thoughts? Any last thoughts? Yeah, I think that's about all. <laughs> Trudeau must go. Yeah. yeah, Trudeau has to go. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. If we want to maintain our freedom, we, the UN cannot have control over our, our, uh, our government. In? This is not a dem like. <laughs> Yeah, we we need to defend our democracy. And keep yeah. Canada, Canada. Yeah, I agree. That's why people love coming here. We gotta keep it the way it is. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you. You're good. Okay. Are you saying that? He was doing one for a video. Did you know that went to China? That was here? Did I give him my card? Where was he? Huh? Well, just it's just in my apartment. Oh, I gotta, yeah, we have a group that meets in kids every other Thursday. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been, uh, but I've more basically, I have a YouTube talk show. I interview people all over the world on well, geopolitics, globalism, international Jews. You know why? Because you were Dirty one? Did you want a card? No, I mean, I this have is, so much stuff. This is okay. a fucking awesome card, though. Yes, I know. Okay, food, 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 food is, yeah, yeah. Food, yeah okay. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Canada's foremost voice of God with the 7 billion victims. I, I should have said 7.6 billion victims of the it's Jewish elite. With 7 billion because it's like, you know, what are you going to change your card every year? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> every, it's a cruel really society that really like uh, German like, mysticism. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a website. This is your website. Yeah, the Thule Society dot com. You have that domain name. Yes, my domain name. And we have a spiritual interpretation of Adolf Hitler that he was a cut above. Well, it's some sort of. Um, in, in, you didn't want to start with that. No, you didn't start with it. I mean, some, out of it. No, some, no, I'm just saying that your political party is. You know, that's why. Yes, he, he should be just talking and not running party because it's not. It's not a vote getting platform. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't expect to get elected myself. I, is that part of Brian Little's platform too, or no? No, <laughs> no, no. No, he, he's more of a. Um, you know, Pat, Patrick's more of a, a politician. He doesn't want to get too esoteric. Whereas I, I basically have a truth. I have a Buddhist higher realm view of things as well, spiritual interpretation. Of things. So, but uh, yeah, I think if Hitler is, is, is kind of is kind of inspired, you know. I know. It just, you, it's just not a vote getter. That's all I'm saying. You know, oh yeah, I know. With, um, you can just say we hate the banks. You know, confiscate all the banks. There, that's all you need to do. Confiscate all the banks. Anybody related no. to the banks. It's more complicated. Banks are a necessary part of. 
Thank you. Well, appreciate your comments for the show. Very good. 